A journey through some principal streets in Accra, such as the Liberation Roundabout, Castle Road and the Accra Sports Stadium stretch, reveals quite a number of non-functioning streetlights. The streets are plunged into total darkness because the bulbs of the streetlights are either removed by some anonymous persons or they are just non-functional. Others have their poles broken down. Street lighting provided for sensitive and strategic national assets such as the Accra International Conference Center, the proposed National Cathedral, Osu Cemetery and many public offices are developed, maintained and owned by the Municipal Assembly. But the aforementioned streets, according to commuters, have for the past three years been without street lights, rendering the place unsafe. Well, it's not good at all. Sometimes when we are walking like this on this road at the moment, we are in danger. We are in danger, seriously. Anything can happen because the place is dark. You cannot see anything. If somebody is coming to attack you, you can't see anything. So it's, very, it's unsafe, seriously. It's unsafe. It, it gives us um, fear and panic. We that normally pass here at night, sometimes um, you see these rough motor riders and the way and manner they drive, we fear when even passing, we realize we are holding things and we don't know what they are carrying on them. So it's like a threat to our life and we don't know who is ready to help us because a lot of people use this route and almost three years, this place is near to the, the state house, likewise the conference center and the new dome. But every time, every day, every night, total darkness. Road accidents are likely to occur. And in fact, this thing, hmm, you can't even say it's because it's very bad. It's like a whole security area. If you walk from Conference Center or Independence Square to the runabout, no street lights. It's very, very bad. One, even um, kidnapping can even take place here. I even thinking about if I'm going to meet any bad guy or something. Because, I mean, there is, you don't see the one coming. You don't see any impending danger and all that. And I think there should be street light around here because so many people ply this road. The parliament is just here. And I know all these ministers and stuff, they ply this road. So why wouldn't they see that there are no street lights around and the danger that actually comes with um, places like this? I mean, there, there can be a, a dangerous person hiding just here. I can be attacked. I can be stabbed. I can be robbed and all that. Many prominent people, including parliamentarians, who use the stretch to their respective offices, have failed to acknowledge the risks it poses. Some of the commuters narrate their horrible encounter with criminals on the road at night. You can be attacked, and robbers can attack you. Seriously, it has happened to a friend here before. He was attacked, his phone was collected, his valuable wallet, everything is gone. You see, so working on this place here, by this time, that's why the cars are passing, but it's unsafe. I feel very bad. And in fact, I've been attacked before by a madman. Yes, so uh, um, it was somebody who saved me. A gate man at conference center. He really saved me that day. It was, it was awful and very bad. In fact, I just got out from the conference center and he started chasing me. So it was the um, security man who took a stick and then started hitting him. So I had to go back again. And then after a while, I came back again and then I went home. They say the relevant authorities should ensure that the street lights are fixed as soon as possible to ward off criminals who engage in all forms of negative nocturnal activities. So the times when we walk around, like, the question I keep asking is, this is where the parliament house is. And it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, there are lots of um, companies here, lots of people are using the streets, and there are no lights. Anything can happen. You can be attacked. Anything serious can happen. People are being kidnapped and all that. This place is not far from the state house. At least they should consider and bring street lights. Looking at the new um, dancing over there, they have decorated the place for just Christmas. And <laughs> this thing that cost a lot they can use it to provide street lights for the nation which will make people people's life a little bit comfortable so we are pleading 
that at least there should be a street light here because this place is, is a security zone. Everybody passes here, a whole lot of people. And there are nice, nice, nice buildings and I think there are places that events, grounds and such, there are so many things here. So I think street lights, getting a street light here will be very, very good. The public lighting levy provides that 5% kilowatts per hour of electricity consumed is charged on all categories of consumers of electricity to support the payment of energy consumed by streetlights. This is also to cater for and replace streetlights destroyed by unknown persons. But authorities are yet to attend to the situation, which has left many commuters in doubt as to the fixing of these non-functioning streetlights. Streetlights, if it can be provided, I think it will be the best. What makes you think it can't be provided? Because um, how many years has it been and nothing has happened, so maybe nothing is going to be done. But then if it can be done, then it should be done on time. We don't have to wait for something to happen before we attend, because people's lives are in danger. So for many commuters plying the castle road, it is quite baffling to think that after many years of non-functioning streetlights, nothing is done about the situation by the relevant authority. Well, some are even pessimistic that anything at all is going to be done about the situation. But, you know, many are pleading that governments or the relevant authorities heed to their call to fix these non-functioning streetlights for easy and safe mobility. Reporting from the Castle Road in Accra, Amni Ayukwe Okain, for City News.